Hi, today we will be hearing true stories from real people who decided to tell their tales of betrayal and heartbreak. Weaver of Tales podcast presents Tell Your Tales. Dear Tell Your Tales, I'm hesitant to send this letter, but I am thinking that for me to be free, I need to tell my story. You can call me Ed. I was in high school when I met Ellie. She's the girlfriend of my girlfriend's best friend. Alam ko magulo pero intindihin niya na lang. Naglalangkad lang po ako pa uwi galing school and every time I do, nakikita ko siya kasi naglalakad din siya. Siyempre high school kaya marami pa akong katextmate na mga girls. Um, nauuso din yung pagpa-plug ng number and I saw her name. So kinuha ko ang number niya at tinext ko siya. Nakiris ako sa kanya. We texted back and forth. Ang topic namin is yung mga experiences namin sa mga exes namin. We got to know each other through text hanggang sa nakita kami, then nagkadevelopan. My decision was to enroll in a city four hours away sa town namin for college. Pero kinunvince niya ako na sa local school na nandoon kami mag-aral. Pinagbigyan ko siya kasi mahal ko. Three months pa lang kaming magkakilala pero napag-desisyonan ko na isurprise siya para sagutin niya ako. Kinonsyaba ko yung mga kaibigan namin. Tapos naalala ko pa na nag-prepare kami sa rooftop ng school. Merong naka-assign na lingatin siya sa glit para makapunta kami ng ibang kaibigan ko sa rooftop na hindi niya napapansin. The moment of truth happened. Inakyat siya sa rooftop na may blindfold tapos pagbukas ng mata niya, hinarana ko siya. At the end, may mga letter cuttings na dala ang mga barkada namin asking her of her decision and she said yes. Grabe ang saya ko nung araw na yun. I mean, nag-effort ako eh. At siya kasi nagot niya ako. At walang man sa Rina, wala akong regalo sa kanya, lalo na anniversary. Kaya wala akong pera, pinag-iipunan ko talaga para lang may maibigay ako sa kanya. Noong first three months namin, lagi kaming nag-aaway kasi siguro nag a pa. Nauhuli ko pa siyang may mga katext-text na ibang lalaki. Inayaan ko lang hanggang sa nagbago rin naman siya on our sixth month. Then on our second anniversary... One of her friends told me that Ellie is cheating on me with her ex. Matagal ko na rin napansin na nagte-text at nagcha-chat pa rin sila ng ex niya pero hinayaan ko lang kasi baka friends friends lang naman. But I was so blind. They even planned to meet each other kung saan nag-aaral yung lalaki. I saw their convo accidentally. I confronted her and at first siya pa ang galit. Gawa-gawa ko lang daw yung mga istorya. Pero patience is the key. Hanggang sa umamin siya na totoo ang lahat. We broke up and everyone is shocked. Hindi na nasanay ang mga tao na hindi kami magka- magkasama eh. Then, kumalat ang balita hanggang sa para siyang naging outcast. Hindi na siya kinakausap ng ibang friends namin. Nakikita kami everyday kasi magkatabi kami sa halos lahat ng subjects. Ganito ang scenario everyday hanggang sa isang araw, bigla na lang siyang umiyak sa tabi ko. Naawa ko kasi nasasaktan siya, kaya nag-usap kami at nagkabalikan. Pero, sana hindi na lang ako ulit nagbigay ng chance. Hi, this is Regine and you know how I love listening to podcasts. I've been binging on podcasts for a year when a thought came to mind. Why don't I make my podcast and tell my stories? I thought it's tough to make one until I found out about Anchor. Podcasting with Anchor is easy as one, two, three. It's free. There's creation tools that allow you to record and edit your podcast right from your phone or computer. Plus, Anchor will distribute your podcast for you so it can be heard on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, and many more. The best part is, you can make money from your podcast with no minimum listenership. So what are you waiting for? Download the 
free Anchor app now or go to anchor.fm to get started. Before graduation, may na-feel na akong changes sa relationship namin. Tinatanong ko siya kung may problema ba, hindi naman siya sumasagot. I felt tired of this cycle but I held on to our memories. Hindi basta-basta ang four years. After graduation, nakahanap agad siya ng work while ako nagahanap pa kaya naging tigatid at sundo niya lang ako, kumbaga driver. I applied in different banks pero ang lagging response is, I'll just call you back. Nag-apply din ako sa isang pawn shop pero hindi rin ako pumasa. This might be the last straw. Siguro iniisip niya na wala siyang future sa akin. Which, hindi ko naman siya masisi. Then she decided to apply sa city na 4 hours from our town. Okay lang sa akin kasi para naman yan sa future niya eh. So, umayag ako na long distance relationship muna kami. Three days after siya umalis, hindi na siya masyadong nagte-text. A few days after nakipag-break siya sa akin. Nasaktan ako noon, umiyak ako noon, nagtatanong ako bakit, anong reason ba't siya nakikipaghiwalay. Then nalaman ko na lang na may iba na pala siya. Grabing iyak ko nito, may time pa na tumatabi ako sa nanay ko para lang mag-share ng mga hinanain ko. I was hired as an encoder sa review center kung saan din ako nagre-review after namin mag-break up. Umasa pa ako na may pakialam pa siya sa akin kaya tinext ko siya. Pero, walang reply. Hanggang sa natanggap ko na wala na talagang pag-asa kaya I set my mind on my goals to show her na aasenso ako. I prayed to God, I go to church every Wednesdays and Sundays. After a few months, I received a good news. I was hired in one of the prestigious banks here in the Philippines and I thank God for the blessing. Nangyayari na ang gusto kong mangyari. Masasabi kong, umasenso ako ng konti. Nabibili ko ng mga gusto ko at nakakatunong ako sa bahay. Naalala ko nung nasa training pa ako, tumawag siya sa akin sa messenger para sabihin na she's happy for me. I just said thank you. After a year, she sent me a private message to let me know how sorry she is. And sabi ko na lang na, I forgive you and maybe we're not meant to be. Right now, I am enjoying the life of being single. Yung tipo na hawak mo oras mo at walang nagbabawal sa'yo, walang naaawahay sa'yo. Pero minsan, namimiss mo rin yung merong nang- nangangamusta sa'yo at Nagtatanong ko, okay ka lang ba? Pero sa experience na to, I learned to love myself. And as a gift sa sarili ko po, hindi, this is not to brag, but this is just to share to you kung ano yung power ng um, giving yourself time and love that yourself needs. So, ngayon, I'm buying my first car at the age of 22. It's true what they say. Sabi niya nila, we meet people for a reason. Either they're a blessing or a lesson. For me, as of now, she's a lesson. But she actually gave me a very good reason para umasenso sa buhay. Thank you, Tell Your Tales, for hearing my story. Thank you, Ed and Anne, for sharing your story with us here at Weaver of Tales podcast presenting Tell Your Tales. For commentaries and advice for our letter senders, please check out Weaver of Tales podcast Facebook page and YouTube channel. I want to hear your side on this, so if you want to give your advice to just send me a voice message by clicking on the link or send a message to our page.